Welcome to the YouTube channel Physics Theories and Numericals, where we are providing you high quality videos for easy and joyful understanding of physics theories and concepts for life. Once you understand the theories, handling of numericals will be easy. This best MCQ series video is for lens application. We have designed this best MCQ series video with lot of care. Here, we are providing you high quality MCQs. In fact, we will be starting from very fundamental level. We will be moving on to more difficult level of MCQs. With each and every answer, we are providing you the explanation so that you can refresh your concepts and strengthen them. This is just not a video. This is a mock test also. With each and every MCQ, we are providing you timer so that you can come up with your option before we take you to the answer. So we would request you to use this video as a mock test also. Here, this is going to be around 15 minutes video and we are providing you 11 MCQs. So if you calculate, you will find very high learning volume versus time ratio. So we would request you to go through the entire video and enjoy the high quality MCQs. We have already uploaded high quality MCQs for various chapters. That is chapter 1, force, chapter 2, work, energy, power, chapter 3, machine, chapter 4, that is under refraction. We have uploaded four videos and chapter 5, lens, we have already uploaded three videos and this is the fourth video. We will provide you the links in the description box so that you can go through the videos in case you have not already gone through. This best MCQ series video is on lens applications. Here comes the first MCQ, in fact two MCQs together. Which lens is used as magnifying glass? And the lens in human eye is. What type of lens a human eye has? You have got 10 seconds time. Your time starts now. Easy one. Time's up. Let's see the answer. Both cases it is convex lens. Convex lens is used as magnifying glass and human eye has got convex lens. Next MCQ. You need to fill up the circles from the statements given. Statements are regarding the image formation by convex lens and concave lens. First statement, lens kept close to printed matter, let us magnify it. Second statement, lens kept close to the printed matter, letters diminished. Third one, looking at a distant object, the image is upright. Fourth option, looking at a distant object, the image is inverted. You need to choose the statement for convex lens and concave lens. 20 seconds time for you, your time starts now. If you think if you require more time, do take your time, pause the video, come to your answer, then come back to the video. Time's up. The right option is option C. That is one, four, two, three. Let's take a close look. The option A, it says, when the lens is close to the printed matter, it is magnified. So it must be a magnifying glass. So option one goes for convex lens. Option one goes for convex lens. That means your options would be either A or D. Now let's see the next statement. Looking at distance, the image is upright. Image is not inverted. Inverted is uh, convex lens. So image is upright, that means it is a convex, concave lens. So option three goes to concave lens. So option three goes to concave lens, that means amongst the option it will be option C, that is one, four, two, three. Next MCQ, hypermetropia. You select the options which are applicable for hypermetropia. 20 seconds time for you. 
your time starts now. Time's up. Let's see the answer. The correct option is option C. The correct words had been ticked also in the sentences. So similar questions can be framed for myopia also. Okay. Next MCQ. Regarding chromatic aberration, identify the incorrect statement. Chromatic aberration. There are four statements given. You need to select the incorrect statement. What are the statements? A. It is an image formation defect if single convex lens is used. Option B. Image gets blurred with colors appear at the edges. Option C. Image does not get formed. Option D. Combination of convex and concave lens is used to overcome this defect. 10 seconds time for you. Your time starts now. Time's up. Let's see the answer. The answer is option C. It says image does not get formed. No image gets formed. But defective image gets formed. You can see in the picture given. The color lines appear at the edges. It is color lines appear at the edges. This is chromatic aberration. And a combination of convex and concave lens is used to overcome this defect. Hope you are liking this video. We would request you to subscribe to the channel, like, share and comment on the video and also press the bell icon. Let's continue. Next time we go. A spectacle with bifocal lens is used to correct both long vision defect and also close vision defect. Now you need to find out which lens is used in which part. Option A, upper part is concave and lower part is convex. Option B, Upper part is convex, lower part is concave. Option C, both part is convex with different focal lengths. Option D, both the parts are concave with different focal lengths. 10 seconds time for you. Your time starts now. Time's up. Let's see the answer. The answer is option A. The upper part is concave and lower part is convex. See the picture also has, big, has been given. See look at the spectacle. The upper part is used for long distance vision. So there concave lens is used and lower part is used for close distance. That means for reading something. That is convex lens. So option is option A. Next MCQ. What is the focal length of the sunglass used by the cricketers? You must have seen cricketers wearing sunglasses in the field. Now, what is the focal length of those sunglasses? Zero, less than one meter, more than one meter, infinity. Four options. Ten seconds time for you. Time starts now. Time's up. Let's see the answer. The answer is infinity. Sunglasses does not bend the rays. It will be for just seeing it through the glass. So it does not bend the rays. So its focal length is infinity. It is often called zero power spectacles also. So focal length for sunglasses is infinity. Next MCQ. What is the value of minimum distance of distinct vision? That means the closest place up to which we can see. That is the minimum distance of distinct vision. What is that value taken for various designs and what is that value considered? What is that value? 10 centimeter, 20 centimeter, 25 centimeter, 30 centimeter. 10 seconds time for you. Time starts now. Minimum distance of distinct vision. Time's up. Let's see the answer. 
the answer is option C that is 25 centimeter that is the least distance or minimum distance of distinct vision next MCQ what is the magnifying power of the magnifying glass who is using a lens of plus 10 D 6 4.5 3.5 2.5 10 seconds time for you time starts now Time's up. Let's see the answer. The correct option is option C, that is 3.5. Let's understand the calculation. We have a formula. Before that, we need to find out the focal length of the glass. It is plus 10 D. That means that's a convex lens. And focal length will be 1 by 10 meter, that is 10 centimeter. That we know. Now, magnifying power, we have got a formula for calculating magnifying power, that is 1 plus d by f. What is the d by f? 1 plus minimum distance of distinct vision by focal length. Put the values, 1 plus 25 by 10, that is 3.5. Next MCQ. In an experiment to determine the focal length of a convex lens on an optical bench, the object pin the lens and the mirrors are adjusted so that the image coincides with the objective. Now you have to take the reading on the scale. The positions were found as below on the scale. Object pin at 20 cm mark, lens at 60 cm mark, mirror at 80 cm mark. What is the focal length of the lens? 10 seconds time for you. Your time starts now. Time's up. Let's see the answer. The answer is option C, that is 40 centimeter. We know it, that focal length is basically lens position minus the object position. That is 60 centimeter minus 20 centimeter. That is 40 centimeter. Next MCQ. In fact, last MCQ for this video. A number of uses, in fact, five uses of lens have been listed here. Now you need to identify which application is for which lens and you need to select from the options. Look at the applications, identify it for which kind of lens and choose from the option. 15 seconds time for you, your time starts now. Time's up. Let's see the answer. The answer is option D. That is serial number 3 and 5. They use concave lens as has been marked here in the slide. The other applications that is in magnifying glass and in a camera and also to correct vision in hypermetropia, convex lenses are used. So the option here is option D. Hope you enjoyed the video. We would again request you to subscribe to the channel, like, share and comment on the video and press the bell icon. Thank you for watching this video. We will come up with many such videos. Bye bye till then.